Yum. That smells amazing. This city never sleeps. I hear the people walk by when it's late. Sirens leak through my windowsill. Okay, so for the snickerdoodles, we're going to use about five tablespoons of butter. We need some stevia, optional. Three eggs, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and 75 grams of cream cheese. So in a heated pan, add one tablespoon of butter and melt that. Then add the cream cheese, the eggs, and the cinnamon to a blender or Nutribullet like this. Alright, so this ingredient is for three snickerdoodles. So once you've blended everything together, it should be a nice yellowy brown colour. So we're going to pour that into our heated pan on about medium heat. Swirl the small amount of mixture around so it makes a really thin crepe. And while the crepe is cooking, we're now going to make the mixture for inside the snickerdoodles. So I've put in about two tablespoons of butter. And depends how much you love cinnamon. See, I'm not a real big cinnamon fan. But I'm going to use about half a teaspoon. It says to use about a teaspoon, but I'm going to use half a teaspoon. So put the butter in the microwave just to soften it a bit so you can get a soft, runny mixture. Add however much cinnamon you'd like. I'm just going to add a little bit. And for sweet flavour, I'm going to add my organic stevia, about a teaspoon. This mixture smells amazing. So mix it really, really well together. And once you get a nice brown cinnamon mixture for inside the crepes, just put it aside and finish making the rest of the crepes. So you normally leave them on about two minutes on one side. This one I'd kind of overdone. But my other two turned out great. Nice and soft. So two minutes on one side and then flip them over and a minute on the next. They should be soft but firm so you can roll them just like a crepe. So once all your crepes are made, then you can now start putting the cinnamon mixture in the middle and rolling them up. a teaspoon just under a tablespoon of mixture per snickerdoodle so I've just put it on the edge roll the crepe up and there you have it one snickerdoodle so I'm just going to redo that for the next two add the cinnamon and butter mixture to the crepe it smells delicious and then roll them up and then you've just got to decorate them once they're all rolled up by adding of course more butter more stevia and if you're a cinnamon fan you can add more cinnamon on top these are very easy to make of course if you want more just double the mixture for six um, I think they're better as a dessert, like an after dinner treat, but you know, the husband and kids would have them anytime for dinner. So these were great for my egg fast that I have done. As you can see, I've just added butter on the end and added more stevia and they are very, very filling thanks to the amount of eggs and cream cheese used. Enjoy guys. I hope you have fun making these cinnamon delicious treats and I'll see you on my next recipe vlog. Oh, 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 oh,